Hello, this is Gary Crowley with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and this is video three of five short videos on how to relieve your uh, running lower back pain. Uh, first video, we checked into your hamstrings because those got to be free. They're big players in uh, lower back pain in runners. And last video, we showed you how to release your hips, which should also make that, that lower back feel vastly better when you're running. Now, uh, I'm going to get basically at... Uh, two muscles and one big tendon, uh, your outer quad called your vastus lateralis, your IT band, and your tensor fascia lata. But I generally want you to come at this from the order I give them to you in, so I'm going to do your vastus lateralis, your outer quad. It's very hard to stretch and gets used a lot, so when it's tight, kind of torch your femur a little bit. So we do that first so your femur's kind of free. Then we're going to do your tensor fascia lata muscle, which is this little muscle between your the head of your femur there, there's the head of your femur, and your hip bone, the, the top of your hip bone, it's right in there, and uh, right below your belt line, or kind of on your belt line, depending on your hips, and right in there we release that, and then the big tendon for that muscle is the IT band. So we're going to go vastus lateralis, tensor fascia lata, and then IT band. So this is very hard to stretch. So what I have people do is I have, if you cut your, cut your quad in half, this way, and then cut your leg in half this way, that little section right there, right in here, is basically half your IT band and your, your vastus lateralis, your outer quad. So again, healthy tissue doesn't hurt when you press on it, so you press in here on this and you find any tender spots. And when you find a tender spot, basically what we want to do is the press Pull release technique, and again, it's all this is on my techniques page on my website. If you really want a detailed analysis, but basically what we're doing is we're working like your, with your tissue like it's clay. We're not going across your tissue and massaging it because that doesn't communicate with your brain enough to get that tissue to release. What we're doing is we're finding a tender spot, pressing on it, and then we, when we press into a certain layer, then we pull like we're working with it like it's clay and then we release and we go back on that same spot press pull release press pull release press pull release and when that lets go a little bit you can move up in a half an inch or, or so do the same thing move down a half inch you do the same thing if it's really stubborn do a little bit go somewhere else for a while come back but what you'll also notice is I'm doing again on my techniques page what I call the hand on hand technique where I find a tender spot I press on it with these fingertips but it's really this is a big muscle it takes a fair amount of pressure to get in there so if I take my palm on my other hand and I press it, or in this case I'm using kind of the, the blade, the outer blade of my hand, and I press onto those fingertips, that gets a lot more pressure on that tissue without me having to work too hard. Then this hand can worry about doing the press pull release properly, and this hand can worry more about just making sure the pressure's right. So press pull release, press pull release, press pull release, you go all the way up here, and if you're not tight here at all, number one, I'm surprised. But, uh, you know, you don't have to do much. Uh, I'm actually, because I'm on these a lot, I don't have that many, that many tender spots, but it's only because I work on them all the time. Um, but that's how you, how you get at that. Um, and you want both of these totally released. And then we're going to up here and do your tensor fascia lata. And let me lose this belt for one sec. Uh, because what we want to do, I like getting in there ultimately with a tennis ball. But if you... Basically, again, here's the head of my femur, here's the top of my hip bone, right in there is that tensor fascia lata, right on the side. Now, you can come in here and do a little press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, and that's fine. It's actually, it's actually easier if you're sitting, because then the muscle's relaxed. But, um, but honestly, my favorite way to get in here is just to get a tennis ball, and especially if you're on the floor or not on quite such a cushy table, You'll press in there, you'll feel if it's tender, and then, again, you just move that leg to get that muscle moving just a little bit. This table's a little too squishy, so I'm going to just show you so I'm actually on it. Yeah, see, there's a, that's a little tender right there. So I do this, and I only put as much body weight in there as I can relax into. I Just for a second, I had a little too much. But there, there's a good spot. Right amount of body weight. And let's see. There it goes. There. Now my cerebellum decided to release that because I'm telling it that we want to use it. And now that's pretty well released. Now mine wasn't really, really tight. You might have to take your time and stay on there a little bit. 
Um, but that's, now I've released my tensor fascia lata muscle. And now, after doing that, I can release the big tendon that comes off that, called your IT band. Now, a lot of times you release this, and this IT band will suddenly be a lot freer. Uh, a lot of people like to torture themselves on their IT band and never get up on their tensor fascia lata. So again, just kind of like I did with the, the vastus lateralis, the outer quad, I'm just going to sneak over basically right on the very side of your leg, right down your the side of that IT band, and I just press pull release, press pull release, but again it's important I think to do that hand on hand with the press pull release so your fingertips are on any tender spots and they're doing press pull release, press pull release, but your other hand, again in this case the blade of my other hand is pressing onto those fingertips and just adding, doesn't seem like much with this hand, but it adds a lot more pressure to your technique and can get that thing to let go. See right there is a nice little spot for me. Not too bad because I'm again I'm on these a lot so uh, there it goes. Press pull release, press pull release and again I'm grabbing a layer and pulling it and grabbing a layer and pulling it pressing in as deeply as I can relax into and letting it go. I'm not I'm not going across, I'm not massaging the tissue again because your brain doesn't quite get that. So uh, do your assessment. How tight are these? Do you need to come back here? And um, since this is the third big player uh, in our uh, running lower back pain uh, series here, uh, just pay attention. These are important. These never get, these very seldom get stretched. Some people roll on them, and rolling's better than nothing, but I'd rather have you dig in there with your fingertips. So that's video three of five, uh, and I uh, thank you for your time, and I will see you at video four. Thank you.